Okay, so I ordered a book from Amazon. It's a new Frank Frazetta book, a collection of his work, his paintings, and it just arrived in the mail today. Um, I've been really looking forward to this because I had a lot of Frazetta books a while back and I lost them all. And so this is me starting all over again. So I'm going to unbox the book and then we'll just go over it and take a look at it together. Thanks. All right, so this is me unboxing the book. I can't find the knife I normally use to do this kind of thing. So hopefully we'll be able to pull it off with this. Yeah, it looks like we're good. Tear this open. All right. Uh, yeah, Amazon just basically let it sit in the box and bounce around. Not really thrilled about that. Let's take a look at the corners. That looks okay. Yeah, well, all things considered, it doesn't look so bad. It's a beautiful looking cover. The Egyptian Princess by Frazetta. And, ooh, there we go. Breaking the seal on the plastic. Let's see what we got here. Get this out of the way. There it is. Yeah, so this is really nice. She's really nice looking. This is the back cover. Got the Death Dealer, his Conan painting. Barbarian with the polar bears. A little shot of the cat girl. Yeah, this is really, really nice. Alright. Let's open it up. Very nice. Got a pen and ink drawing of a Frazetta girl on a horse. You can never go wrong with that. It's another beautiful piece of work. This is really nice. This is the first time I'm seeing the book, obviously. I did see a video on YouTube uh, with uh, James Spurlock basically showcasing the book. But uh, this is the first time I'm actually looking at it in hand. And uh, it's a really nice presentation. Got a few words from Michael Whalen, another uh, classic cover book, cover artist, fantasy cover artist. Did some beautiful work also. A nice little breakdown here. Another pen and ink for Zeta Girl. There's Frank, the man himself. Age of 75, according to the caption on the photo. Probably one of the greatest comic book covers ever drawn from the old EC Comics uh, Weird Fantasy and Science Fiction, I believe this was. I used to have the collection, there was a hardcover collection released in the 80s uh, in a beautiful slipcase. It was two books, two or three books, and hardcover, black and white artwork inside, just amazing amazing quality books and they were beautiful this was the the front cover to one of the slip cases and it looked beautiful in full color yeah, these are these are really thick pages it's amazing how thick they are um there's the first valentine book of the frazetta series the fantastic art of frank frazetta i think there were like five or six books of these that's the first cover, The Egyptian Princess. Um, I believe the original painting for that just recently sold for like $5 million. Not bad if you can get it. Uh, this page, Cindy is Saved, it's a comic book page. It's a little short story that's actually in this book, if I remember correctly. Yep, there's more pages of it. Here's another one of the uh, Fantastic Art of Frazetta books, or Frazetta Book 2. Ah, nice. More pen and ink drawings. These are beautiful. Tarzan and the Castaways. You can see it, we got it right there. It's Tarzan and the Castaways. We've got a Stone Age pen and ink drawing. These uh, famous funny covers 
uh, apparently George Lucas claims are what they inspired him to create Chewba Chewbacca and the Death Star in the Star Wars movies. We'll move this over a little bit. Maybe we can get in more of the book. But yeah, now we got a gallery of paintings. These things look amazing this size. I mean, I think the book is 10 by 14. And these paintings at this size look really amazing. Maybe not as much as the originals would, but still, it's a really nice presentation. But this is fantastic. Oh, they're giving a lot of page space to this. That's really nice. Spider-Man, very popular painting by Frazetta. A very popular painting. Another one that I really like a lot. I always like the power in the pose, the guy fighting against the snake. Another one with a lot of paid real estate. Cat Girl. Yeah. This is the original version where she's got the light hair. I think Frank revised it several times and ultimately it finished off as what this piece is. I actually have this piece framed. I think I have it been a 13. No, not 13 by 19. I think it's like an 18 by 24 size. And, uh,. Unfortunately, the print that I have framed is a little dark, but it's still one of Frank's most famous and greatest pieces. It's just a really beautiful piece of work. I'm going to say beautiful a lot when it comes to describing Frazetta, but I mean, you know, that's really all I can say. Everything I look at by him just blows me away. This is really nice. Yep, the John Carter stuff. The Fighting Man of Mars is the name of the painting. It's John Carter, Warlord of Mars. Danger Thoris. See, when I think John Carter, Edgar Rice Burroughs, these are the, uh, the images that come into my head. Um, not a fan of the Disney movie. Uh, just found it to be incredibly disappointing too many changes to the storylines. If I remember correctly, they combined two different Edgar Rice Burroughs stories into one movie, um, which is, probably wouldn't have been a bad thing, except it just wasn't really very good in my opinion. Yep, The Brain was a uh, cover for Eerie and a cover for the Nazareth, uh, a Nazareth album. The Sorceress. John Jake, The Apparition, actually, this is called. There's another one, Woman with a Sith, another famous Rosetta painting. Another one I really like a lot. Conan the Barbarian, the cover to Conan the Usurper. This is fantastic. This was, I think, in the first volume of books that Ballantyne published. Yep, The Death Dealer, maybe Rosetta's most famous painting. I, I would say arguably, but I don't think it would be a very strong argument. I think this is definitely Frazetta's most famous painting. Um, it's been used all over the place. All over the place. This is really nice. These, seeing these paintings at this size is, is just fantastic. Yep, and there's the Egyptian Queen again. Now, interesting thing, he did change the eyes from what I understand. And yeah, they look more wide-eyed. She looks more wide-eyed here. And then over here, she's got a more subtle, um, just straight-on stare, as opposed to here where the eyes are really open. Um, at least that's the only difference I can see. Yeah. Apparently, uh, the costume designer for uh, one of the Star Wars movies, I guess it was uh, Jedi, claimed that her Princess Leia's bikini was inspired by Frazetta's Egyptian princess painting. Actually, it's called Egyptian Queen, not Egyptian Princess. Close enough. Royalty's royalty. Another really nice piece. Conan the Barbarian. Amazing, amazing piece. Always love this piece, the power in the character. Fantastic. 
look at this. Look how big this is. This image is. This is great. Yeah, I'm gonna have to look at this again. Blazing Combat cover. Another Edgar Rice Burroughs uh, cover piece for the Mucker. Look at that wild ride. Rosetta. The Silver Warrior. Conan the Destroyer. Amazing. Just so much power, so much energy the fig in the figures, the piece itself. Okay, I've seen this before, Executioner. It's a nice piece. Maybe not one of his best, but still. Yep, the Eternal Champion from Michael Moorcock. Yeah, I go way back with Frazetta, back to when I was a kid. I think I remember first seeing his work in the late 70s. Became more familiar with it as I got older. Uh, after that, I owned the Valentine books. I also had, like I said, I also had the uh, Weird Science and Fantasy slipcase case books that were released in the 80s. Um, a friend of mine had given me the first issue, I, I believe it was Creepy, that featured the last Frank Frazetta comic book story. Uh, it was a werewolf story, if I remember correctly. It was, it was just, again, a beautiful piece of art. All the pages were just beautiful. Yeah, Frazetta Women, you can never go wrong. The night they raided Minsky's. He did do some movie posters and they were amazing. This Tarzan stuff is just really amazing also. Alright, just going to keep going through the book. I'm just repeating myself, so I may as well just keep going through the book. And, repeating myself some more. Frazetta Women. You just... You can't go wrong. Look at that. Yeah, these pages are really thick. It really feels like I'm doubling up on the pages. Okay. We have an afterword by Frank Frazetta Jr. Lord of the Rings portfolio from the 70s by Frazetta. Really nice stuff. Some family shots. Ellie Frazetta. Uh, if I remember correctly, there was a John. There were some several John Carter uh, pen and ink pieces that Frank did in the 70s. Again, they were beautiful pieces, and like I said before, when I think of John Carter, and even Tarzan, I always see Frazetta imagery in my head. I mean, that's, that's how powerful his stuff is, that when I think of those characters, when I read them, I see Frazetta in the images. Yeah, and that's the end of the book. That's it. That's some really nice stuff, and uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks for sticking around. Catch you later.